Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our daily tune-up today. I want to talk about discouragement. We've talked about this before, but discouragement is something that we all feel and face once in a while. We go through life wanting every day to be a party, wanting every day to be an amusement park ride, wanting every day to be fun, be positive. However, there are days that come along and if you're having one of those days today or this week or have had these days frequently here lately and you're discouraged, I want to help you with that today. What discouragement really is, is the way we look at current situations. Many times we're striving, we're working, we're doing everything we possibly can and doing a lot of it correctly. I know people that are looking for jobs right now. I think of a couple of people in particular that are doing it really right. I mean, they're doing their diligence every day on the computer, they're on Craigslist, they're on Monster.com, they're on every website known to man applying for what few little positions there are with a perfect resume, the perfect follow-up, the perfect attitude, visualizing, focusing, being positive, expecting good things to happen only to get turned down. They hired someone else over and over again. It's easy to get discouraged. And I know many of you that are going through this feel like you're the only one. Right now in the market that we have, this is going on with everyone that doesn't have a job. The way we find jobs these days is kind of unusual. The internet has created a wonderful medium for information, for learning things. However, in my own personal opinion, I think it's probably the worst way to find an employee because you never know the character of the person. You never know what they look like as you look into their eyes. You don't hear their voice. You don't get the temperature of their personality. It's just a cold resume with basic little qualifications on there that says pretty much nothing about that individual. We are much deeper than that. So if you're discouraged today, understand many people are going through this. To rise above your discouragement, step outside of your own box. Look at reinventing the way you're doing job searching. Look for new angles and new ways to focus on yourself. And also sometimes your answer is right in your backyard. Many people say, well, there are no jobs here or there's no jobs where I am. You know, sometimes those jobs don't even look like jobs. There are opportunities that you can create a job around. I want all of you that are out of work right now that are very discouraged because nothing's coming to you to understand even if you were a vice president of a company are now out of work losing your home with all your savings gone and no retirement left. There's an answer for that and that answer might lie in just changing the way you look at yourself. Getting rid of your ego and saying, I can't work for that, I can't do that, if the job seems lower than what you did, and say, that could be the step back up the ladder again. Being willing to make those changes, being willing to take a lesser job to make a little bit so you can make a lot. Let's take a look at ideas like that. There are no quick fixes to this. There's no magical solution. I can tell you this though, there is failure if you quit. And I believe in no failure. I believe in feedback. And if you're not getting a job based on what you're doing, change the way you're doing it. That's just feedback for you to skew it a little bit differently. Look at it a little bit differently. And maybe the jobs that are out there are the ones you're not applying for because you have limited yourself to a particular genre. Let's take a look at that. Until next time, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a very pleasant, successful hunt. Bye-bye.